education also covered in the people to people relationship uh, there are over 200000 indian students in the united states uh, there are academic exchanges and these are uh, valuable uh, on the whole i think uh, um, from our side uh, there was uh, uh, the issue of uh, h1b visas were raised i think it was pointed out that uh, uh indian professionals uh, contribute uh, significantly to the uh, development of the high tech sector in the united states uh, increase uh, they contribute to an increase in the competitivity of the high tech sector uh, at the same time in addition to uh, the technical technical capacity and innovative uh, uh, let's say approach that they bring in uh, to their work they also provide uh, value Uh, from the point of view of their uh, let's say uh, democratic uh, uh, backup background i mean we are both uh, we have that common uh, i would say uh, area of ideology in in terms of values and principles that we both believe in democracy as countries and this is an area that i think uh, indian professionals can fit in better uh, when it comes to uh, working and contributing to other democracies uh, in the world uh, the issue of totalization also came up uh, there was uh, a sense that indian professionals who spend less than 8 years uh, but nonetheless contribute to what social security and other uh, benefits in the us system um, really need to get that money back if they spend less than the minimum time for which they are reimbursed um, this is an issue and i think something that uh, was uh, flagged in the discussions uh on the global side of things uh there was a focus on connectivity uh clearly uh, this is uh, also part of what we uh, vision in the indo pacific to increase uh, connectivity to increase uh, um contributions to uh, linking uh, countries the indo pacific uh, both maritime through maritime and uh, land and air routes uh, at the same time i think uh, uh there was a sense that uh, the principles that we have enunciated with regard to connectivity also fit in with some of the